In this video, we're going to show you a really easy way to make Play-Doh at home. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carolyn. And these are my friends Phoebe and Kira. When I was a kid, I spent hours making shapes and creatures and pretend foods out of Play-Doh. I loved the endless possibilities of a lump of fresh, squishy dough. <laughs> What I didn't realize was that those little mounds of dough were helping me develop my hand muscles and sparking my imagination. So now I love watching these guys have that same creative experience and knowing the great benefits they're getting while they play. In this video, we're gonna show you a really easy way to make Play-Doh at home. This is a great project to do with kids because not only will they learn by helping you with the cooking, but they also have fun playing with the finished product. The best place for this project is the kitchen because we'll need to cook our dough on the stove for several minutes. And plus, we might make a little mess. The tools that we'll need are a small saucepan, a wooden spoon, a plate, measuring cups, and measuring spoons. The ingredients that we'll need are flour, water, salt, vegetable oil, cream of tartar, and food coloring. And we'll also need some glitter because we're making our dough sparkly. Phoebe and Kira helped me with the measuring, which is a great thing for them to learn. Okay, are you guys ready to add the ingredients? Yeah! Okay, first, one cup of flour. Phoebe? It's hard to come out. There you go. Good job. All right, second, we're gonna add one cup of water, and I'll do that. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, third, a quarter cup of salt. All right, Kira, good job. Now, we'll add one tablespoon of vegetable oil, and I'll do that. It's very tiny. It is very tiny. One tablespoon, here we go. Then, we add two teaspoons of cream of tartar. Do you each want to add one teaspoon? Yeah. Okay. And with your finger, you want to level that off? Yeah, good job. Now right into the pan, good job. So Kira, do you see what Phoebe did? Okay. And then level it off. Good job. Nice, okay. Now it's time to add the food coloring. What color should we make our Play-Doh? Blue. Blue, sounds good. So let's add 10 drops of blue food coloring to the pan. I can add five and Kira can add five since five plus five is 10. Perfect, all right, let's count together. One, One two, three, four, Five. Five. Good job. Okay. Now, Phoebe, your turn. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, guys. Now, with a wooden spoon, we stir everything together until it's mostly mixed up. Good job. Phoebe, do you want to try? Yeah. Okay. Good job, Kira. Nice. It sounds bubbly. It does sound bubbly, doesn't it? Now we keep stirring until most of the lumps are gone. It already smells like Play-Doh. It does smell like Play-Doh. Once the mixture looks smooth, we put the pan on the stove over medium heat and continue stirring the mixture while it's heating. To be safe, I do the cooking part 
but I make sure to show Phoebe and Kira what's happening in the pan as the mixture starts to change because it's a neat process to watch. After a couple of minutes, you'll start to see solid clumps forming in the pan. Continue to stir these clumps together until they form one giant doughy mass. It happens pretty quickly. Hey guys, come look at this. See, it's starting to look like dough. Once your dough looks like this, turn off the heat and take your pan over to the counter and dump the dough onto a plate. Now the dough is very warm, so I'm gonna let it cool for a few minutes until it's cool enough to handle. Now just knead the warm dough until it feels mixed up. Do you guys wanna try? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go for it. What does that feel like, Kira? It feels like sticky ice cream. Sticky ice cream, what do you think, Phoebe? I think it feels like melted ice cream. Like melted ice cream, yeah. Does it feel mixed up? Yeah. yeah. All right. And that's it. Let's add the glitter to make it sparkly. You got it. What color should we use? Pink. Pink? I like that idea. All right. So we just make a dent in the middle, like this. And then we add glitter. Like that. And then just knead it until it's spread throughout. See, wasn't that easy? I love being able to make any color we want. Me too. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> what does it feel like? It feels like squishy dough. Squishy dough. I like to go like this. I'm yeah. glad we went with the blue. The blue is a pretty color. It is a pretty color. With pink sparkles. I like to poke it. Poke, 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 poke. I'm gonna stick it. Yeah. I'm gonna try and make a snail. If you store your dough in a plastic baggie or airtight container, it will keep for several months. Help us and other Mother Goose Club families learn by showing us how you and your kids did this project. We love to hear from you. So hashtag pictures and videos with Mother Goose Club and type stories into the comment section below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear about new videos. Bye! Bye. And... Bye! Okay. <laughs> no! No! Cute. Other Mother Goose Club is kind of tongue twister. <laughs>
That's called a serrated edge, and it'll cut much better for you. See? <gasps> Yay, high five! I like it. Do you like it better when the moon is a crescent moon or the full moon? A uh, crescent moon. Yes, that's Olivia's favorite kind of moon. Perfect, Olivia. I love it. It's perfect. When you turn it this way, what letter is it? C. That's right. It's also a letter C. And you can also call it an arc, Olivia. Pound. Pound? Pound. What are you doing? I said. He said pound. What are you doing? Look. That's a... Um, <gasps> it's a waffle. It's a waffle. Waffle! I told you this little ball of dough had superpowers. So add some Play-Doh to your playtime and show us how it goes. When you share your tips with us, you help us and other Mother Goose Club families learn. So please hashtag your videos and pictures with Mother Goose Club and let us know what works for you in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about our new videos. Thanks for watching! Bye! Bye. Hi, I'm Rachel. You may know me as Bill Brain Development. And I said that line wrong. Mommy, look, he's gonna miss the colors. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> Poke and cut Play Doh? What did I say? So let their imaginations run. <laughs> Talking to ki your children as they create. <laughs> No, I'm not because I don't know where we're picking up. Can you sit down, Briley? So let them. When your kids play with it, they develop. When your kids play with it, they build. So add some play doh to your play doh time. <laughs>
Let's count them. One, Two, three, three four. four. Now let's color our sticks, okay? Hey, I'm Rachel Hockett, and I play the teddy bear on the Mother Goose Club. In real life, I'm a mom to two kids, Olivia and Briley. We love doing holiday crafts like this twinkling star. It's a super easy craft that's fun and educational for kids. In this video, I'd love to show you how to make one. Okay, for this craft, you will need craft sticks. You'll need some glue. You'll need some markers, some string if you want to hang it up, and you'll need some decorations. Now, your decorations can be anything that'll glue nicely to the sticks. We've got some big sequins here we're going to use for ours. And you can get all of your craft supplies at your local craft store or online. Now, be careful if you're using sequins or small decorations if you have young children, because my son tries to eat them, so watch out for that. Crafting is really fantastic for kids because when they're doing crafts, they're working their finger muscles. And those finger muscles prepare their little fingers to hold a pencil and write, which is a very important skill for when they go to school. Okay, we're ready to craft. Now, the first step is to pick your shape. You can glue four sticks together to make a starburst star, or you can glue five sticks together to make a five point star, or you can glue six sticks together to make a star of David. I'm gonna make a starburst, so I'll take four. Next, I'm gonna color my sticks yellow, my favorite color. Now, younger kids might get tired after coloring for a few minutes, and that's totally okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. That is the charm of kids' artwork. You can help your child finish their craft if they ask you, or you can just let it be. Next, glue the craft sticks in the shape that you want. You can do this step for your kids if they're too little. Then, set it aside to dry for a good 10 minutes. Now, it's time to decorate. For younger kids, you may need to do the craft for them up to this point, so all they have to do is glue on a few decorations. Just squeeze drops of glue, and add the decorations. Steps like this help to build your child's fine motor skills. Those are the muscle movements that help little fingers pinch, pull, poke, and sort. All done! Now let the decorations get good and dry. And here's a quick tip. While you're waiting for your glue to dry, you can boost your child's learning by asking questions and talking about the craft. Every bit of conversation you have with your child will help your child learn new words and practice talking. Some good crafty questions are, what color is this? Or, what shape is that? Or, how does the glue feel? And also, how many sequins are on that stick? Finally, if you want to hang your star, just glue a loop of string to the back. Now, take a look at how this craft went for me and my kids. Let's pick out four sticks, okay? So we're gonna make a star bus. One, two, two three, four. four! Good job! Now let's color our sticks, okay? A, B, C, what color do you want to color F, yours, Brian? You want to color this? Good job! That's wonderful, and I love the color of your tunic. Mommy, look. Oh, that's so beautiful! It kind of looks like the colors that are on an American flag. See? Red and blue. A star! Very good! Before you glue the sequin, baby, we're going to actually glue the sticks together. There you go. And then wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. One more drop of glue. Thank you. Good job. Thank you for sharing. Olivia? I love it! Can you find me a star shape sequin? Give me, give mommy a star. <gasps> oh my goodness! This is so good! This is so good! <laughs> <laughs> I want you to put all of it like... Like all, all the way across? Okay. okay. Like all the way across from here. So there, so there, so there, so there. Swingle, swingle.
My kids loved doing that craft, and I love knowing that they got a chance to work with their fingers, that they used their fine motor skills, and that we had a chance to talk. So, give our Twinkling Star craft a try and show me how it goes. <laughs> Let's take a look at some photos and videos from families who tried this craft. those turned out so great. Thank you to all our families who sent in photos and videos. You can send yours on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. Want more starry action? Watch our other Twinkle videos and hit us up with questions or anything in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about our next video. All right, craft stars, start decorating and we'll see you soon. You may need to do the craft up to this. Next, you glue the sticks together. That's wonderful, and I love the color you're choosing. You can choose. It's a popsicle stick. No, we don't have any popsicles. It's a stick. It's the popsicle stick. Okay. <laughs> Those are the finger movements that help children learn to pull. This is blue. Let's glue it on your star. Hey, 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 Riley. <sighs> but is this blue? No. Yes, it is. Hair, poke their brother. Wait, Riley, are you eating the sequence? Super. Riley, give it to mommy. Give it to mommy. Thank you. Okay. All right, now. Hi everyone! Today we're going to teach you how to make homemade putty. It's a super simple activity and helps strengthen those muscles in your kids' hands, getting them ready for writing. Ocean Benjamin. <laughs> Corn starts is a little bit uh, fluffy, so. I'm on <laughs> Let's go. Corn starch. Scented or unscented lotion, food coloring, measuring cups, mixing bowls, essential oils, flavor extracts, or scented lotion, mixing spoons, placemats. Okay guys, you ready to get started? Yeah! All right. Today we're going to show you how to make homemade putty. It's super simple. All you'll need is a cup of cornstarch. Rachel, why don't you take the cornstarch and dump it in there. Okay. There you go. About three to four ounces of lotion. You can use scented or unscented, totally up to you. Ugh, and then hold it to the side and she might be able to scoop some out with that. There you go. Scoop it out. Next, you're gonna mix it really well together. Can I mix it? Yep, go ahead and mix can it. Can I use a spoon? Yep. Do we need a little more lotion? Yeah, maybe. maybe. I think so. It's not Here, Benjamin. School. There, hey. in there. We need more, it's like kind of... Not we need more lotion? Bit. I don't know. It feels oh. soft. Does it feel it soft? Feels Does it come soft, together? But it's no, not to Together. Unless we all smush it into a bowl. It's mm. not exactly coming together yet. You need more lotion, you think, Rach? Can I mix it with my hands? Sure. This is where your hands might get a little messy, but that's totally okay. And then we can put it in half, and you guys can put it on your placemats and, and kind of mix it on there. It's crumbly, like really crumbly. Hey, it's it's coming like together then. If it's kind of crumbly, it's starting to stick hey, together. Just, I don't want to touch it with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like getting as messy as sister, huh? My hands are. Feel like Rachel likes diving in. I need more lotion. Oh, I think Benjamin does too. Mine's coming together. Look, Mama. Kind nice. Not. Look, Benjamin. You have to like push it together like this. Knead it. There knead you go. it. I'm just going back and knead it. Looks knead like you're building a snowman. It. So kneading it really, really well. The more you mix it, the better it comes together. If it's too sticky, you may want to add a little more cornstarch, or if it's too crumbly, you may need to add a little more lotion. And you should end up with a finished product like this. A little. How does it feel? Is it smooth? Mm -hmm. 
Is it sticky or is it? It's mine's really sticky. Mine's not sticky. sticky at all. After your putty comes together, you can also add some food coloring. Now this is where it gets a little messy, so you may want to put on some gloves or put it in a Ziploc for easier mixing. Then, once it's all mixed together, you'll end up with some beautiful putties just like this. Okay guys, are you ready to add some of your food coloring? Yeah! yeah. To color it? Let's take the gloves and put them on your hands, because this is the part where it gets real messy. Do about two or three drops. Okay, and now add two or three drops of the red. And then start mixing, and then if we need to add more, we can. If you want to break it so you can stretch it and see if you can get that color in there, Benjamin. Look at mine, it's swirly. Nice. Look at my purple. Can I do my purple and I for the first okay. part, I need my gloves on. Okay. One, two, little drop. Three. Now can I have red? You certainly may. Look I like it, Benjamin. Can I make nice. this one now? Silas! Come see what we made. You can play too. Feel it. We've been making putty. <laughs> what does it feel like? It feels soft. In case we mix that. Yes. Yeah. I see some green coming it in. It is hard. Sarah. Well, what if you did all of the colors would be white? Ooh, all of the colors. It would make brown. Yeah, it probably would make brown. Okay, Silas, so let's see if you can put your handprint in it. Can you smash it down? <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Want to make this activity a little more fun and interesting? Simply add smells to your putty. You can add scented lotion, essential oils, or flavored extracts. It's a lot of fun. You can ask your kids fun smells like garlic and see what their reaction is, or add something refreshing like a lemon. It makes this activity not only a fun hands-on activity, but it also stimulates your other senses like smell. We are going to have a smell test. I have different smells on the putty, and you're gonna tell me what you think it smells like. Are you ready? Meat. Okay. That's mint. That's mint? That's mint. That's mint? That you wanna smell this one again? Mm -hmm. Lemon? Yeah. It smells like lemon. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like that smell? I don't know what it smells like. You don't know what that is? <laughs> Do you smell it? Potato? Potatoes? <laughs> it looks like a potato. It smells like mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes? Do you know what that smell is in it? Garlic? Yeah, good job! <laughs> it smells like garlic. Good job, yeah, because we do put garlic in our mashed potatoes, don't we? Mm -hmm. You did good. I'm going to see how the boys do. Benjamin, it's your turn. Come on in here, buddy. Here's the first one. <laughs> What does it smell like? Vinegar. Okay. <laughs> Mint. Oh yeah? I don't know. You don't know? Baking soda. Baking soda? <laughs> <laughs> what does that smell like? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> you don't know? Do you like that smell? No. All right, you did good. <laughs> All right, what do you think this smells like? Okay, good smell. <laughs> I don't even know. What do you think that smells like? Mm. I like the smell of this one. Mm. I don't know. Don't know? Mm hmm. Yeah. What does that smell like? I don't know what it is. You don't know what it smells like? Is it strong? Yeah? <laughs> no, yeah, that's a good guess, mint. <laughs> This is the third one. What do you think that is? I don't know. I don't know. Is it strong? Do you like the smell? No, Rachel didn't like this one either. Ready? Last one. <laughs> no. <laughs> is it a good smell or a bad smell? Good smell. You like that smell, huh? Are you guys ready for the big reveal? Yeah. Come on in here. And I will tell you what all of them were. Do you remember the first one? Lemon. I knew it was the a lemon. The first one was a lemon. This. Smell it now that you know it's Ooh. lemon. See, it does it smell like a lemon. It does See, smell like a lemon. Okay. All right, the next okay. one that we did was... I knew it was an... I said that too. Peppermint. We 
Did you like it? I said yeah, you I liked mint. You did say You did say I did not like it. You did not like mint? Oh, I like I mint. You know what's so interesting to me? What? None of you really liked this smell, but Rachel, you usually like. What is this? Ugh, Do you guys know what it is? Cinnamon. <laughs> yep, cinnamon. I hate this. You don't like it? I don't like you guess cinnamon. She did not. You yes. guys guessed baking. I think you guessed baking soda, <laughs> Benjamin. <laughs> Are you ready for the I last was, smell? I didn't even oh, guess this. Now one. Benjamin oh. did not like this smell at all. Did but I like Silas it? really liked this smell. I said potato. And you said it smelled like a potato. Do you know what, what this is? Onion? onion. It does kind of look like an onion. This is garlic. Oh, I said garlic, remember? That's right, because we put garlic in our potatoes. Is this a smell you would like to make your putty smell like? No. No? You just want mama to stick to cooking with it? I would do lemon. Yeah. <laughs> Good job on your smelling, guys. I hate Everyone that. Everyone give me five. All right. We hope you and your family had a lot of fun making this activity today. If you have any suggestions or comments, feel free to drop them below. Thanks so much for watching. We're going to show you how to make these beautiful valentines with your kids. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carolyn, and these are my good friends Phoebe. Hi. And her little sister Kira. Hello. Carolyn's the best babysitter ever. We always do craft projects together. Well, I'm glad you like my projects because crafting is so good for your brains.
It promotes creativity, and it teaches kids how to problem solve when things don't turn out exactly as planned. And doing a craft project is a great way to practice fine motor skills, which we need for writing. You are so smart. Today, we're going to show you how to make these beautiful valentines using a toilet paper tube as a stamp. We'll show you how. For this craft, you're going to need some construction paper, a pencil, some safety scissors, some toilet paper tubes, paper plates, and some paint. The first step is to make a paper heart. Just fold your construction paper in half like this. Good job. And then you draw a half of a heart as a cutting guide. Just be sure to start at the crease. Phoebe can do this step by herself, but I'm gonna help Kira and draw the line with her. Good job. See, it's a half a heart. And then just cut it out. If you're not comfortable with your kids using scissors, you can always start them with a pre-cut heart and just let them do the decorating. Let's see. Yay! Beautiful. To decorate our cards, I'm gonna show you how to make stamps out of a toilet paper tube. I love this trick. You just flatten the tube like this and then fold one end in like that. See, it's a heart. Now just dip it in the paint and stamp away. And here's another nifty trick. You can also make a flower stamp. Phoebe, can you show us how? Love to. You just smush the tube to make a petal shape like this. Then you dip it in the paint and stamp it on, connecting each petal at one end. What a beautiful flower. Wow, I love it. And another option is that you can simply just use the tube as a circle stamp. Okay, guys, let's make more valentines. I'm going to make flowers this time. I'm going to do hearts and flowers. Great idea. Oh, guys, these turned out great. You're gonna make a lot of people very happy. Carolyn, we made this one for you. Aw, thanks guys. And I made these for you. Thank <laughs> you. Aw, thanks. <laughs> Try making these Valentines at home with your kids and send us a photo or video to show us how they turned out. And tune into our YouTube channels to find lots of fantastic videos for you and your kids. As always, we'd love to hear from you. So type in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Bye. <laughs> if your child is learning their ABCs, Making the alphabet out of Play-Doh or modeling clay is a great activity to help them learn. It's fun and easy. I'll show you how. <laughs> to make our Play-Doh alphabet, you need Play-Doh and some tools. You can buy Play-Doh tools at a toy store or you can use things lying around the house. You need a smooth surface to work on, a hard rolling tool like a can or a jar, a plastic knife to cut with, and then you can use whatever objects you find around your house that might make an interesting texture or shape in your Play-Doh. Let's start with blue and make a letter A. Using both of my hands to apply even pressure, I'm gonna roll the Play-Doh out into a rope. Once it gets as long as I'd like it, I'm gonna trim off the end, here and here. Fold this like that, 
trim off this, and there's our A. For B, let's try something a little different. We're gonna roll our dough out flat using the side of our jar. Flipping it over as you go so that you get a nice and even pancake. Now I'm gonna use my can to cut out two circles. Put them in the middle like this. And then for the rest of my pancake, I'm gonna cut out a long line like this and set it along the sides of my circles. Now to make it look more like a B, I'll use my bottle cap to cut out the center of each. Hey, bottle cap starts with B. And there we have our blue B. C is next. To make the C, I'm going to do another rope with purple. Rolling it out, nice and even. Trim off one end. And there's a C. But it's not that interesting, so I'm gonna use my knife to add little lines. C. Now to make the D, I'm gonna flip over my C and take some more of my rope I just made and put it on the end. To make it more interesting, I'm gonna add some dots with the back of my pencil. D for dots. D. For E, I'm gonna use purple again. And roll it out flat. Then I'm gonna use my knife to cut two equal strips. And I'll trim up the ends to make them neat. And I put one here and cut the other into three parts. There's your E. Take away the bottom and you have your F. For G, let's use green. I'll make a nice long rope again. Curve it up. Put the end in like that. And there's your G. For H, let's use our green to roll out a nice big pancake. And this time I wanna add some texture. So I'm gonna use one of my cans to roll ridges along it. Then using my knife, I'm gonna cut a rectangle. Then I'll cut out the top and the bottom. And there's our H. For I, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Now I'm gonna roll up each little piece and make them into a ball. I start to form my letter I. And there's an I. The cool thing about the little balls is you can easily rearrange them. To your next letter, J. Now K. So for K, I'm going to make a thicker rope than I've made before. Using my knife, I'll cut almost halfway down there and cut through the other side too. Flip it this way. Open up the legs and there's our K. For L, let's do another flat piece. So first I'll make my long rope. Then I'm gonna roll down with my jar, smoothing it out as I go. Trim off the end, cut a short piece, then a longer piece. 
L for longer. Put them both together, and there's our L. I'm gonna use a chopstick to add lines. Line starts with L. Okay, M, M, M. Let's start with a mound, like the letter M for mound, and roll it into almost like a triangle until it starts to look like a little bit of a mountain. Now we're gonna trim off the sides. Cut down the middle. And there's our M and all its beautiful mountains. Next up is N. Let's stretch out a piece of rope, nice and long. Just make an N very simply. Like that. To make our O, I'll use orange. And I'll roll it into the biggest pancake yet. I'll use my largest can to cut out a circle. Then I'll use my bottle cap to cut out the center. There's my O. For P, I'll cut a long strip from my leftover pancake and put it there. For Q, Put a little strip in right there. There's our Q. For R, I'll cut the back of our circle off. We'll add a strip back in here and a little leg there. And there's our R. For S, I'm going to use green again and do something a little bit special. I'm gonna roll out a rope, but make it thin at one end, and a little bit thicker at the other. And this will help you remember your S, because it looks like a snake. For my T, I'm gonna use the green again, roll out another rope, Trim the ends. And use my forks, tines, to put a little print in it. Or add texture, which also starts with T. All right, we're winding down. For you, let's take two long ropes and twist them together. Now I'm twisting them up. Turn them up like that, up like U. And there's our U. Now our last letters are kind of similar. So we're going to do them in a special way. Once again, we'll roll out a big pancake. This one happens to be pink. I'm gonna cut four equal length strips. First, let's make our V. There's our V. Then we add two more. There's our W. Now we take those two and flip them over. There's our X. And take one away. We have our Y. For our final letter, we use our strips again to shape a Z. 
but let's make this Z something that kids can remember by giving it a little something extra. Let's give it stripes like a zebra. Z for zebra. And there we have it. That's our alphabet. Try making alphabet letters out of Play-Doh with your kids. Not only will they have fun, the hands-on activity will help them learn and remember their ABCs. Show me all the cool letters you make at home by hashtagging Mother Goose Club on social media. As always, we'd love to hear from you, so type in comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. Hi, I'm Jane, and I love crafting with my kids, Alex and Emily, because it helps them learn a lot about themselves and how to get along with others. These are important skills for success in school. I like doing crafts because you can turn trash into pretty things. And I love glitter! So in this video, we're going to show you a fun craft that turns empty water bottles and toilet paper tubes into musical shakers. With glitter! <laughs> yes, Alex, plenty of glitter. For each shaker, you need an empty and dry water bottle, the short 8 ounce kind works best, a toilet paper tube or paper towel tube cut in half, scissors, electrical tape, a funnel, and something to fill the bottle with. 
We're using beans to make noise and glitter to make it pretty, but you can use whatever you want. Little jingle bells, paper clips, rice, beads, and confetti, anything that'll fit. All right, let's get started. The first step is to fill your bottles a third of the way with beans and glitter or whatever you're using. I've learned early on that it's best to keep glitter in a contained region. It can get pretty messy. Put that lid on good and tight. We cut the tube next, right? That's right. Do you want to go first? Sure. Emily can do her own cutting, but usually I handle it for Alexandra, especially when it comes to thicker material like cardboard. All done. Now, can you put this over the mouth of the bottle? Step five, tape the tube to the bottle. Make sure to tape the tube very securely to the bottle. I know the next step. What is it? Decorating with tape. That's right. Yeah, and I want to use silver, blue, and white. Oh my goodness, okay, let's do it. Why don't we start with silver first? Okay. Great. How about I will cut the pieces of tape for you, and then you can tape them on the tube. Okay. Emily, are you done with the white tape yet? Can I use it? Sure. One thing I love about crafting is that it's a great way to teach your kids how to take turns and work together. Look, Mom, I made a heart. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. I made one for you too, Alex. Thank you so much. So are you guys all done? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to try them out? Sure. sure. Let's do it. And there you have it. These shakers are pretty to look at and fun to play with. And when your kids use them as instruments, they learn about rhythm and patterns. Try this craft at home and let us know how it goes with a photo or video tagged Mother Goose Club or leave comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for other crafts, tips, activities, and more. Bye! Let's do it again. <laughs> From there? Okay. Okay. <laughs>
Use Club Playhouse.